I wouldn't get one. Take our AT&T. And once that ball gets under... Our first time driving out... I feel like I've been here before. $9.69. Step it up. But it was pretty cold in here, 54 degrees. Just need to crank it hard. Verizon had the lowest speed. Who put that there? <laughs> I did. You know, as a woman, it's not no, good. Don't. You have about an hour yet. appointment is in the morning. <laughs> Getting ready to take those chocks off that we got from E Trailer, and I, I remember I had told you guys about using uh, this flex thing for the drill. I wouldn't get one, and uh, this is why. The end of this, as you can see, stripped off, so it doesn't have. Uh, it's not built very well for torque, even though you don't torque those things very, very tight. I mean, you want them tight, but you don't like put extreme amount of force on them. But um, that being said, I was gonna take it back and get another one. I decided it's just gonna eventually break too, I'm sure. So I got one of these, a 90 degree angle from DeWalt. Plus you don't have that bend like I did with that, that flex bend that kind of rubbed against the fender a little bit, getting it in there every once in a while. These chocks, I'm really liking them from E-Trailer. I would highly recommend them. All right, so to be 100% honest with you, I have not tried this yet on these jocks, but it should work. It should work just fine. So that's much simpler getting in there. I do like how these jocks also have this little flap over here where you can lock it. As far as this thing, you get one, best place for it right there. Well, today is the day we leave Branson. We could drive all the way. It's gonna be about a 10 hour drive if we go all the way to Elkhart to where Truma is. Again, that's where we're gonna get this all the system fixed that's underneath this bench right here. So then we'll have our heating, other than our heat pumps on our AC units. We'll have our heating and our hot water back and be back to normal. Actually, better than normal, better than we've been so far since we've had this airstream but hey that's the luck of the draw no big deal um we're fortunate that's the only issue we've had so far good lord where's some wood knock on wood we're going to take our at&t and our uh, t-mobile and we're going to test it along the way and just to see how it performs while we're driving keeping things cold we need frozen food stayed frozen it's been really nice for that too we've noticed it even after we you know it's been sitting all night it still stays pretty cool in here even though it's not running but we do have the option again of putting that jackery in here and uh, letting it run off of that during times that uh, the truck's not running it's not running off of the inverter in here I want to show you how easy this is to back up the camera shows where the ball is and then there's a line as you can see as you're backing up as you turn your steering wheel it lines you up I just work my way back I can see that I need to turn just a little bit here and then once that ball gets underneath that you get the hang of it where to be with that ball should go over it. There we go. Are you ready for me to shut the power off? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. Stuff to do. <laughs> Steps. 
No pun intended, of course. They're not power steps, but they sure are easy. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about a motor. Ow. <coughs> Except my foot slipped. So what? Shell's gonna try her, her first time driving out of the camping spot. Um, let me go take a look here real quick. Make sure there's nothing you need to be aware of. Okay. Mirrors. All right, so you want to go straight out a little bit and then turn left. That okay. way your trailer doesn't cut in too early. You got your seat where you need it? Yes. Ready? five hours and 18 minutes but that's probably going to be more like six hours by the time we make a couple Keep stops left. then take a slight left turn onto treasure lake drive yeah it'll probably yeah six and a half <laughs> yeah and depending on our speed that we go
away from St. Louis, and we're two and a half hours away from the Harvest Host that we're planning on staying. And we were looking at the radar here. We had it running on one phone and GPS on another. And it looks like all the storms have passed us. Kind of got pretty lucky, really. Yeah. We haven't had to go through any bad weather. Right before we get into St. Louis, we found a place on uh, the Open Roads app, which is part of the TSD. It's going to save us about 50 cents a gallon. That's a pretty good savings. Probably have a potty break again. Hey, little guy. Hi. Check on the uh, Open Roads app and see if it gave our discount yet. Sometimes it does. I'm gonna go at an angle here because it's got a little bit of a steep hill there. Try not to drag the airstream. It has to be pretty steep in order for it to do that. Remember okay, how to do yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Um, we saved nine dollars and sixty-nine cents. Saved nine dollars and sixty-nine yep. cents. Let's see. Uh... It all adds up. Looks like we got an hour and forty-eight minutes left. One hundred and twenty-one miles, and we'll be at the Harvest Toast. Hopefully, sipping some wine. <laughs> turn right onto Yarnell Road, then turn right onto Rudder Road. Sipping some wine and juice. Oh, that isn't that song, is it? What was that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Gin and juice, I think it was. At the next stop sign, oh, turn my right. Mind, oh, my mind, oh, my mind. Effingham, Illinois. You heard that right, Effingham, <laughs> Illinois. I was trying to figure out why that sounded so familiar and I figured it out. Here. That's what Michelle always calls me, Effingham. Ma -ha -ha. <laughs> do, she does. You get to this turn and you see the Harley Davidson while well, the GPS tried to tell us that this Harvest Host was right there, right after the Har Harley Davidson, but it's not. It's you have to turn right there at the road, the right before the Harley Davidson. And it appears to me it is a very nice place. Yeah, and there's a lot of people here. They and serve food, and boy, there's a few there's, RVs. Yeah, at least three that I can see. Very pretty. Apparently we need to go this way. Well, Michelle's inside getting ready. I just ran inside real quick and changed. It does say it's casual wear here, but I've seen a few people coming out that were dressed up. I want to let you guys know what our speed tests were here in case you need internet here. Um, AT&T was the strongest. 51.7 for a download, 25.2 for an upload. Verizon, surprisingly, was only 4.26 for a download and 1.47 for an upload. And uh, the T-Mobile from, from Travel Data was 5.39 download and 3.69 for an upload. So AT&T was first, T-Mobile second, Verizon third. I think we're about ready to go inside and get some grub. Check this place out and have a glass of wine. When you go to Harvest Host, uh, be sure that you uh, spend some money there because as you know, it's free to stay, but they do expect you to uh, spend some money here at their place. And uh, which obviously doesn't make it free, but 
then again, it does because you are getting something. Some people partying already. <laughs> I'm gonna go check this place out. That's nice. It does. So they had a, uh, a gluten-free pizza. I'm just getting a sausage gluten-free. And what'd you get? Um, it's like a flatbread. That's what it looks like. Hopefully it's better than a Tostino's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for only $8, so, only $8 I could get another one. If I that's true. It was only $8 for that. We'll chow this up and let you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> the wine's good. So far, the wine's good. So the wine is really good here. Um, this one is the Sicilian, Sweet Sicilian. Oh. I am horrible remembering things short term. <laughs> um, Age. Yeah. Why are your eyes crossed? <laughs> Do you remember what you got? It started with an A. <laughs> it started like, with a C, actually. I didn't know I do it remember started that. with an A. Okay, she's right. Gluten-free pizza. Um, it is definitely for one person. Mm -hmm. it's and uh, it's probably about 10 inches. But it was pretty good, really. Yeah, okay. And thinking that. about all the places that we rate and everything, I'm going to say that was probably right around a 7, which makes it worthwhile to get if you come here and that's what you want so we don't know we didn't see anybody else get the regular pizzas so we don't know you know how good they are what they look like or anything um, mm -hmm. but she did get that flatbread and she thought that was really good I actually really liked it it was white garlic flatbread okay. that's what it was it was really good I kind of really liked it I want to say it's like right around that seven and a half eight Rating. It was pretty, it was pretty good. good. It, wasn't, it wasn't all that big though, was it? Well, no. I ate it all myself. Thank you very much. But, um, it was small. <laughs> and then you had, she had a chocolate too. Yeah. What was that? Lind? Oh, just one of those Lind, you know, yeah. circle. So they don't have any desserts here. All they yeah. had was those Lind chocolates. Step it up. But I do like the white one that I got. And you don't remember the name of it? Started with an A. If you like grape juice, the Sicilian one is good. <laughs> so mine, the white one that I like, is called Andiamo. Andiamo. Which means in Italian, let's go. So wouldn't you? Yeah, that You're makes ready. sense that there I like go. that. Let's go. Good. Anyway, it's a very, it's a crispy. You're crispy too. <laughs> 62 in here now. That was pretty chilly. We got down to, um, what was it, 54 this morning. We uh, used the buddy heater. Remember, we don't have a generator yet and uh, we don't have any other heating source when we are dry camping. So we wanted to test it out. Had some extra propane tanks so that we can make it through the night. Um, the one thing I don't like is a propane tank if you have it on low. The buddy heater lasts six hours. This is the portable buddy. Um, that's what model this is. If we put it on high, it only lasts three hours. So of course, put it on low and it does, it heats it up. It just heats it up slower and uh, lasts for six hours. So this morning I got up, it was pretty cold in here, 54 degrees and uh, put another tank on, fired it up and it warmed it up slow again. <laughs> I turned it on high just to kind of speed it up a little bit and stuck it in the bathroom so that we can get ready but uh, gosh tomorrow's the day keep my fingers crossed we're supposed to have this all the system fixed so that we can run it off of propane when we dry camp and uh, pretty soon afterwards here before too long we're gonna make some room in the back of that truck get things organized uh, once we get over to Iowa and uh, get us a probably get us a generator uh, just for another backup. All right, well, we're going to take off, start heading over to Truma. Yes, can't forget that. <laughs> we got this at, uh, actually at Walmart. It's a little light and um, does not use batteries. It has a, you can recharge it here. 
So it's a motion detector light. You put it on here, you can point it whatever direction you want. I kind of like that because if you come here at night and all of a sudden you need a flashlight, don't want to grab one out of your pocket on your phone or anything, you just grab this and just take it for a flashlight. So it's kind of nice and handy. Plus, like I said, you can move it to wherever you want. Can you go to Cracker Barrel? I'm ready. I'm starving. It's a peaceful stay here. There was no noise. Didn't hear a single thing. Uh, right, Michelle's ready here. We're going to back off our blocks and uh, pull our chocks out and uh, get going. Grief, wait for me. And hey, we're back. <laughs> Can you help me get? You look so surprised. Well, oh. I didn't. Know. All right. Okay. Michelle's gonna drive now again. Been enjoying this driving. Yeah. We're not even gonna give a rating on Cracker Barrel because Cracker Barrel is Cracker Barrel. That's right. We got what? Almost four hours to go. Okay. get hard. Doing some speed tests here with uh, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. And uh, the results, so they're all working, they're all working fine. Um, Verizon had the lowest speed, 1.90 for a download and a 1.37 for an upload. AT&T was the best at 53.9 download, 9.63 for an upload, and T-Mobile wasn't bad at all at 16.3 for a download and a 15 for an upload. So T-Mobile actually had the best upload. So if I was going to upload a video to YouTube right now, I would use T-Mobile out of all of them in this location. Changes everywhere you go, but good to know if this uh, travel data from T-Mobile is uh, going to be a viable option for everybody, especially with the unlimited data. Uh, cooler that we've been using. We've got it set up just like this so that we can get into it, get any food or drinks that we want. Some of the water that we have is way over on the other end. Who put that there? <laughs> I did. <laughs> and then we got a lot of space right here that you can get to really easy. There's cheese sticks in there. There's cheese sticks. 
Munchie stick? Mm, I'm still full from breakfast. No, I was asking them. Oh. But would you like one? No. I'm going through changes. And so are you. I look for the moments when you're around me. I know you've got secrets, but I can't keep on. And we're fading in and not together. The field's wide open, stuck in the moment. The field's wide open, stuck in the moment. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but we took a little detour. Probably wondering why we're in an outlet parking lot. <laughs> we have a wedding to go to when we go back to Iowa for a little sister, Heather. And uh, Michelle's been trying to get time to find a place to get a dress. So, we thought, why not stop along, just off the interstate, stop at a premium outlet and see if we can't find something. Hope so, because so, I only have a... Uh... Well, we have a week. Yeah, it's been hard to do yeah. it during the week. When we were in Branson, they had an outlet mall there that closed at six. By the time we got off work, sometimes working after five, yeah. it didn't give us enough time yeah. to do it. Because you know, as a woman, it's not no, good don't. to speed shop. You just regret things. Oh yeah, girl, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're done. Michelle found her dress. Still gotta find some shoes. And uh, notice something. And I'm glad we stopped here because we would have probably went to the wrong address. When you try to type the address or search for it for Trumacorp, it actually brings up the wrong address. If you do it manually, it tries to take you to uh, Frederick, Frederick Drive, Drive yeah. which is not the correct address. If you try typing in the correct address at 2800 Harmon Drive, it takes you to 2800 Herman Street. <laughs> using Google Maps, not Apple Maps. Google Maps does take you to the correct place. So, for instance, if you are using RV Trip Wizard, and I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna use other map provider because I don't wanna use the RV friendly maps, and then it says continue to other map provider. Then you have your choice between Apple and Google. We're gonna select Google, and there it is, Truma Corp, and it is on Harmon Drive. That is the correct location. Hit directions, and we do not want to take the tolls. No tolls is gonna to take us an hour and 13 minutes. But just an FYI, if you ever go to, um, to Truma, make sure you look at that real closely. Um, if you go on Google Maps on your computer and, uh, and zoom in, and satellite view you can see their parking lot and everything and there's two uh, campground spots camping spots directly back to the right currently right now Google Maps shows the building before they even moved into it and it has a sign out front if you go to Street View and on the corner you'll see future home of Truma mm -hmm. which now is the home of Truma but there you know that that is the correct spot but just uh, a little FYI well we're and take off before it gets dark. Yeah, you have about an hour. Our appointment yet. is in the morning. Dream up a world of pirates. I'm the highest tree. Fall down. Mama, I'm fine, don't worry. forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week!